out of six so far, rather five out of five. Shooting 79% coming into the game. She'll have another one coming her way. Never fails. <laughs> her first miss of the night from the free throw line. Peoples down underneath, and Peoples all of a sudden looks like she's gonna try to get a little involved in this offense. The leading scorer averaging 15.3, but only had two in the first half. I imagine Coach, Coach Gardner uh, maybe made her realize, perhaps at halftime, that it may be a good, op good, good thought just to look for her offensive game, and uh, she's come out and provided a spark offensively for Arkansas. Peoples right now guarding Zaragoza. Shot clock down inside of 10, 17.40 to go. And then the turnover by Arkansas. You see the Lady Razorbacks, six three-pointers on the night. Western still looking for its first successful one. Haven't shot a whole lot of it. They haven't had to. Most of everything they've been wanting to do has been underneath. And you're certainly not going to give that up when it's being given to you. Schaus takes a dribble in, fakes the shot. I don't think... Arkansas thought she'd shoot that one. Instead, Porter Talbot drives underneath. That point's in the paint. Going to be a big number for Western tonight. I don't know, Jeff. Shouse has uh, <laughs> made so many incredible buckets tonight. She might take that 15-footer. Or she's feeling confident enough to anyway. Maybe she thought about it. 17 minutes to go, 49-37. Another three-pointer by Washington. Four in the first half. She's picking up where she left off. 49-40. Arkansas still just kind of hanging around right now. Western leading them by nine. They led by 10 at the half. Inside, Western goes Kelly with a two. So Arkansas doing it from the outside, but Western scoring pretty much at will inside. Coach Cowles has a, a player coming in, a defensive stopper, perhaps, if you will, Ashley Butler, to be able to try to get in number three's face, I'm sure, to stop the three-point reign. 51-42, a nine-point advantage for Western after the Jones bucket. Zaragoza working one-on-one -on -one against Peoples. Trying to work off the screen. Porter Talbert picks it up as it slapped out of her hands, but into the hands of Marshall. Zaragoza with the shot clock down to nine. 16 minutes on the game clock. In it goes to Schaus. Schaus turnaround jumper, not there. Porter Talbert kept it alive momentarily. But Washington pulls it down for Arkansas. 51-42, Arkansas by nine. Peoples, who's come out to play a little bit this offensively this second half. Out of bounds, it'll still belong to Arkansas. Arkansas Timeout on the court with 15-44 to go. Western holding on to that nine-point advantage. 51-42, we'll take a break. This is the Hilltopper Sports Satellite Network on Fox College Sports. Nine point advantage for Western, they led by 10 at the half, 51-42, so a pretty much even basketball here in the second half. Western's had their success inside, but it's been Arkansas from the outside. Peoples getting into the act a little bit. Washington for Arkansas, five three-pointers. That was Peoples' first three-pointer, and then Tiffany Porter-Talbert on the other end. She doesn't uh, shoot the three very much, but she doesn't need to. You see that points in the paint total. Western continuing to dominate that 38 to 6. A lot of points coming in the hot spot for Western. Porter Talbert running once again, pulls up, doesn't get it. Rebound comes down to Dominic Duck. And then the foul as Western's got a few subs in there. Dominic Duck along with Crystal Gardner. Duck had five big rebounds in the first half and really had a good first half for Western Kentucky. Seven points, five rebounds, and comes back in the game again and, and starts on the glass. And Djelkovic with her second foul of the night. Turnaround shot by Porter Talbert. Came up empty. And Arkansas with the basketball. 15-23 to go. 51-42 in favor of the Lady Toppers. Again, they led by 10 at the half. Have led most of the night. Arkansas... Had a lead once tonight at 20 to 18, but it's been mostly Western and a lot of points in the paint. As Arkansas turns the ball back over to the Lady Toppers. Butler will bring it up court for Western. Stephanie, rather Susie Gardner. In her third year at Arkansas, still trying to kind of feel her team out. She's had some injuries to deal with, some other problems. And they'll have some new players even coming back after the break. So uh, 
difficult what? for a coach when you have different players uh, in and out of your lineup. Wow, another three-pointer by the Arkansas basketball team. Second one by Rochelle Vaughn. Three-pointers have not been difficult for Arkansas. In fact, shooting better from three-point range than they are from inside the uh, arch. We were saying about Coach Gardner, she has so many players, different players and different looks, and it's really difficult to find uh, continuity. And probably after Christmas, during the Christmas break, they'll be able to work on some things with the same unit, which uh, will help prepare them for the SEC tournament. Well, I mean, SEC, SEC play. Preparing for anything in the SEC in women's basketball is a is a difficult task at, at best. Uh, known as one of the premier conferences in women's basketball. And typically, I guess, anywhere from you know, six teams or so uh, in the NCAA as we see Crystal Kelly back into the game. But what Western has been able to do this year is uh, showcase itself a little bit. When we talk about SEC basketball and some of the teams and facilities they have, well, there's not many that are going to match anything better than what Diddle Arena offers. Well, Diddle Arena has really done a fine job. Western Kentucky's done a fine job with their arena. They have one of the premier arenas in the country, locker room facilities, uh, the suites, and it's just a really a great place to and a great atmosphere for basketball. And I'm sure that uh, Coach Cowles can use that to her advantage in, in recruiting. Well, they got a year ago one of the top players, not only in the top player in Kentucky, but one of the top players that we have witnessed over the last couple of years in the country in Crystal Kelly. And certainly having the kind of facilities that Western has didn't hurt that at all. I think that, uh, you know, Crystal will tell you herself that uh, the facilities coupled with uh, the Department of Journalism, which is one of the finest uh, in the United States, was, she said, made her decision much easier. So I know Western's happy that she felt yeah. that way. A lot of people wearing red like that decision as well. 52-45, Western by seven right now. 14.06 to go in the basketball game. Bullet pass, inside it goes to Dominique Duck as it slapped away. Butler was up there for the rebound, out of bounds. It belongs to still the Lady Toppers with 12 seconds on the shot clock. Porter Talbert set to throw it in right in front of the Lady Topper bench. Lady Topper is outscoring, doubling up the Razorbacks, 18 to nine, and everybody for the Razorbacks have played that have made the trip to Bowling Green. The travel will be called by Porter Talbert. It'll go over to Arkansas, but Western's bench doing a nice job. Dominique Duck being the, the majority of those bench points. Really done an uh, excellent job for uh, Coach Cowles and the coaching staff. Seems to really have good concepts of the game. <laughs> As you see, Peoples with the penetration in the bucket as they cut uh, cut Western's leads. This is a different Peoples this half, and all of a sudden that 10-point lead has been cut in half, 52-47. Western leading it by five. Duck goes in, tries, answers with the two, and has a chance to make it three. Yeah, and we talked about the freshman and her versatility, and just uh, as you see her here off the dribble, going to the basket, and, and she has good enough strength to be able to score buckets and get fouled. Really unusual strength for a, a, a freshman. Foul called against Dominique Washington. As you see, Duck finished it off. Washington, you hate to see her go to the bench if you're Arkansas because she has had the hot hand. Five three-pointers, four of them in the first half, but she picks up her third foul. Duck goes to the free throw line for the Lady Toppers to try to convert the three-point play. And Duck does and is in double-digit scoring for the night for the Lady Toppers. 55-47, Western has it worked back out to an eight-point advantage with 13-20 to go in the basketball game. Vaughn driving on Duck. And that foul will go against Dominique Duck. That'll be her first of the night. And at the free throw line will be Rochelle Vaughn for Arkansas. Vaughn with 10 points so far tonight, a couple of threes already. She goes to the free throw line, shooting 79% on the year. Michelle Vaughn, the second leading scorer for Arkansas, averaging 11.9. As we said, they have four players averaging double-figure scoring. They have spread the scoring around. Been somebody usually different each night. Great pass. And Western quickly down court with it. Crystal Gardner couldn't quite finish it off. Wow. Boy. Porter Talbert way up in the air to try to 
come up with that. And uh, she's got uh, a career as a high jumper in mind if she doesn't continue basketball. But uh, she's done pretty good in basketball, too. Crystal Kelly almost comes up with a steal there. Western very active this time defensively. Remains Arkansas's ball with 10 seconds on the shot clock. You see Mary Taylor Cowell still working pretty hard with only a seven point advantage and 12.48 to go. And it comes Hobbs, Peoples now. But if Vaughn, Arkansas may have to fire up the three pointer pretty soon. Vaughn just inside the three point line, doesn't get it. Porter Talbert had the rebound and then was fouled. So Arkansas will pick up its sixth team foul. Hobbs picks up her fourth foul, so she is the first Arkansas player with four fouls, and they've already got a couple on the bench with three, so fouls may become a real concern for Coach Gardner on that Arkansas bench. 55-48, Western by seven. And another foul whistled against Arkansas. It'll go against Peoples, her second. And Western already in the one and one with 12.28 to go. So Butler goes to the free throw line to shoot one in the bonus. It's really early in the game to be in a one and one situation. Western can consistently hit their free throws. That may in and of itself be the difference in the basketball game. First half free throw percentage in the, for Western was 47%, so did not do a, a great job from the free throw line in the first half, hitting only eight of 17, but picking it up here a little bit in the second half, having only missed a couple so far. 57-48, Western back out on top by nine, but Arkansas just won't quite go away. Give them credit. Bush drives, baseline right. Hobbs picks up the loose ball, fires it up, doesn't get it. Way up there for the rebound for Western. Porter Talbert. Lead pass, Duck leading the way, and it goes to Crystal Gardner. Can't quite get it. Had her own rebound. Still fighting for it, and Arkansas picks it up. Bush for Arkansas. Over to Peoples, 57-48. Peoples from the three. Not there with a the rebound. Duck for Western. Both teams up and down the court a little bit now as the pace pickets up a little bit. 11.43 to go in the game. Butler, Porter Talbert working one-on-one -on -one against Peoples. Looking for a help. Almost had it stolen away by Bush. Dominique Duck, his shot clock goes down inside of 10. Porter Talbert working one-on-one -on -one against Peoples off the glass. Not there. Rebound away to Arkansas. Jones coming with it the other way. Off the pass, wouldn't go down for Vaughn, and now Western's Ashley Butler has it the other way, and the foul will be called against Rochelle Vaughn as she and Butler got tangled up coming down court. 11-14 to go in the basketball game. Western still with a nine-point advantage, 57-48. We'll take a break. This is the Hilltopper Sports Satellite Network on Fox College Sports. They lurk in the water. Here in the second half with 11.14 to go, Jeff Young, Clement Haskins here with you from Diddle Arena. As Arkansas out of the SEC taking on Sunbelt Conference Power Western on its home court. Western has lost the last two to Arkansas, but trying to even everything up right now. 57-48, Lady Toppers also trying to pick up their sixth win of the year. Arkansas just trying to keep their head above water right now, coming into tonight at four and three. Western doing the job on the boards, 32-21. And again, that points in the paint, very big for Western, 40-10 over Arkansas. Ashley Butler at the line, shooting one and one. Butler at the line to shoot one in the bonus. 74% free throw shooter. Gets the first one, Butler. The senior out of Louisville, Kentucky, Manual High School. Second one coming her way. All of her points coming from free throw so far tonight. And Butler gives Western an 11 point advantage. 59-48 in favor of the Lady Toppers. They led by 10 at the half, and now expanded that by one. Peoples working one on one against Porter Talbert. Inside it goes to Jones. Jones turn around from the baseline, gets a nice soft touch, put it in. Her eighth point of the night. 
Arkansas still staying scrappy, still in the game, like you said earlier, Jeff, just won't quite go away. And teams like that are, are you know, 10 minutes is a long time in a basketball game. Scouse, who has been quiet this half, we haven't seen her with a lot of touches this half. Ashley Butler. Arkansas's defense is trying to rise to the occasion. Out of bounds, it'll belong still to the Lady Toppers with a new 30 on the shot clock. Well, Crystal Kelly, uh, whom we talked about so much earlier, only has four attempts. She's three for four from the uh, tonight tonight from the floor. But I would imagine she needs to to have a lot more looks at the at the bucket, and you may see Western go into her a little bit more in the last into her more in the last 10 minutes. Chouse up at the high post, and Arkansas obviously keeping a close look on Kelly, double teaming her down underneath, and Charlotte Marshall. Now we'll go to the free throw line. Arkansas may have to worry about uh, having enough players to finish this game because they continue to pile up the fouls, a 10th team foul, picking up uh, the fourth foul again as you see Marshall coming right at you. And that was number three, Washington, with four fouls. Well, they would uh, not want to lose Washington because if they get in a situation and need to have three points, Field goal. She certainly would be the one as she's five for six from three-point line. Yeah, she will go to the Arkansas bench right now. Bush comes into the game, and Bush with three fouls on her own. So if you've got three players in the Arkansas lineup with three fouls apiece as Marshall converts both free throws. 10-17 to go, 61-50. Western by 11 right now over the Arkansas Lady Razorbacks. Baum with a three-pointer. Not there. Schaus had her hands on it. And had it stolen away by Bush. Bush then converts to two. 61-52, Western again with that nine-point advantage. Butler working against Peoples. Looks for help, finds Porter Talbert. 9.49 underneath, Crystal Kelly. She'll go to the free throw line. She does a good job posting up, and, and she has just great hands. Uh, she t sometimes spoils guards because you can throw it pretty much anywhere and she can catch it, but she does a good job of holding holding the post players behind her. She's really difficult to get around, and she needs to probably have a little more looks at it uh, here down the stretch. Angelica Bitch picks up her fourth foul, and Crystal Kelly goes to the free throw line. The first one has another one coming up. Back into the game is Hobbs. And Hobbs comes in with three fouls. Just about everybody for Arkansas, they've only got a player or two that doesn't have three fouls. Two players with three fouls and one with four in the game right now. Kelly converts the second free throw. Kelly, a very quiet double-digit night so far. Ten points. Of course, keep in mind she was averaging 23 coming into tonight. Peoples, nice fake pass, uh, just couldn't quite hang on to it. And then Bush comes up with the steal. Everybody on the court, and Arkansas will get it back. Arkansas. Arkansas very quick, very athletic, giving away some size, but they've been able to stay in this basketball game with some three-point shooting and just not letting Western quite run away with it thus far. 62-52 right now in favor of the Lady Toppers with nine and a half minutes to go. Porter Talbert almost comes up with a steal there. I'm sure the Western beat bench keeps uh, a stat on deflections, and, and there's no telling how many times she gets her hands on the ball just being uh, in good defensive position and in passing lanes. Hobbs with the three-pointer doesn't get it. Points in the paint a little bit more even this half, which uh, I think more leads to the fact that Western hasn't been able to get a lot of points in down underneath. Arkansas has done a little bit better job with it. But uh, Lady Topper has been a little bit quieter offensively right now. A lot of their points coming from the free throw line. Coach Gardner probably made some of those adjustments at halftime. When you see stats like that, it's pretty alarming and, and it causes you to make some adjustments. Porter Talbert with a jumper. Porter Talbert. Gets her 21st point of the night. Porter Talbert leading all scorers. Nine minutes to go in the game, 64-52. Vaughn from three, doesn't get it. Kelly with a rebound for Western. Lead pass to Porter Talbert. Porter Talbert lead pass to Butler. Looked like a circus act as Bush had to do the splits to get over Butler. Good thing Butler's about 5'9 and not 6'9. Like a hurdler. You talked about Tiffany Porter Talbert earlier, maybe high jump, and then we see a player there just literally had good 
stride, good uh, technique on and, her. And I gave Butler four inches more than she is. 5'5", five, five, actually. 5'9", five, would have caused her some trouble as well. 64-52, Western by 12 with eight and a half minutes to go. Arkansas a little bit cooler from three-point range the last few trips. One of the best three-point shooters, at least tonight, is on the bench right now. Peoples will go to the free-throw line as she leans in and draws the foul. This one goes against the Lady Toppers, Porter Talbert, and she picks up her second. As you see again, uh, Peoples trying to make some things happen. She's picked up her offense a little bit here in the second half. She's got seven second-half points, and she'll try to add to that from the free-throw line. Good free throw shooter at 83% converts the first. One more coming her way. Arkansas will again try to pull within 10 points. That was the halftime advantage by Western and Arkansas's Peoples converts both free throws. 64, 54, 820 to go. And Peoples, uh, the, the prototype student athlete, I think she has a 3.6 GPA. She's a medical student. Uh, I think made one B in her college career and just a fine, fine student as well as a great guard. Porter Talbert way up there. I tell you, Crystal Kelly, when she gets the ball, there's about three players just slapping at it, pushing her. But she does maintain composure, and that's uh, been one of her keys to success. Butler looking to get it in, looking for help. Gets it into Charlotte Marshall. 8.05 to go. There's a new 30 on that shot clock. Schaus way out up top. Gets it over to Butler. Man-to-man -man defense been played most of the night by Arkansas. Butler working one-on-one, -on -one, gives it to Marshall. Marshall from three-point range gets the first one of the night for the Lady Toppers. She has a beautiful stroke, great upper body strength, and when she gets a look at it, she does a nice job with a, a beautiful jump shot. 67-54, a 13-point advantage for Western. Ball won't go down for Arkansas, out of bounds. It'll belong to the Lady Toppers. A 13-point advantage right now for Western after the three-pointer by Marshall. 7.36 to go. We're going to take a break and be back with more second-half play. This is the Hilltopper Sports Satellite Network on Fox College Sports. It has expanded that 10-point halftime advantage to 13 now at 67.54 with 7.36 to go here from Diddle Arena. Jeff Young of Clement Haskins and the first three-pointer of the night made by Western, who is a a good three-point shooting team. Charlotte Marshall, probably one of the best that uh, Western has to offer. But uh, unusual that it's been uh, about 33 minutes before Western's accomplished uh, the task of making a three-pointer. They're so successful going inside and scoring off offensive rebounds. They really haven't had much need to shoot a lot of threes. As you look at the second chance points there, Western Kentucky 14 and the Lady Raiderbacks only five. A 13 offensive rebounds for Western to seven for Arkansas. Overall, Western leading the rebounding war by 15, 37-22. Lady Toppers with the ball, Ashley Butler. Shot clock now down inside, 10. Schaus, a little bit of a hook shot, doesn't get it to go down, but Crystal Kelly there, put it back up. You see a confident move by Schaus there, real confident and uh, really growing and developing as a, as a good young player. Well, you mentioned a game like this can kind of be a breakout game for Schaus offensively, and she has gained that confidence. The foul was on the foul will go against Schaus, only her second. And Arkansas, only four team fouls on Western. Western really stayed uh, out of foul trouble entirely. But Arkansas has been Great not inside a lot, except for that right there as Jones gets the two. 69-56, 13-point advantage for Western. Turnovers are even at 14. Porter Talbert driving, baseline left, a little reverse shot, not there. Kelly with the rebound, and, and she has it taken away, but uh, she will go to the free throw line. Again, you think Tiff Tiffany may have been uh, suggesting pass, or you yeah. think that was a shot? <laughs> yeah, you, you really don't know at times. Be up to the stat person. That's right. <laughs> Fourth foul on Bush. And I got to believe before the end of the night, there'll be some Arkansas players on the bench permanently because of that fifth foul. They've got about four players right now with four fouls. Crystal Kelly at the free throw line. 
knocks the first one down. Kelly now with 13 points. She had nine rebounds as well, so uh, knocking on the door once again of that double-double. She makes them seem easy to come by, but a double-double is not that easy to come by. Game in, game out. She gets those double-doubles uh, with amazing frequency. 6-17 to go, 71-56. Western has edged it up to a 15-point advantage. Bush kind of lost control of it into the hands of Moore. Shot way overshot, out of bounds. It belongs to the Lady Topper. 6.04 to go in the basketball game, 71-56. And Coach Gardner going to waste, not waste any more time, and Dominique Washington, who has been the three-point specialist tonight for Arkansas, Four in the first half and another one here in the second half. They could use some of that uh, here in the last six minutes if they can. I tell you what, making a couple three pointers can change the momentum of a game in a hurry. Porter Talbert, very rare three point attempt by her, comes up a little bit off. In fact, her first three point attempt of the year. Arkansas will take a quick timeout after the bucket by Jones, who now has 12 points. Again, Arkansas with four players in double figures, and that has kind of been their trend this year, is to spread the wealth around, so to speak. It was Washington who was hot in the first half. The second half, Peoples has done a nice job, but uh, those points in the paint still by Western, and Western just really dominating inside has made it very difficult for Arkansas, although one of their few points in the paint coming right there. Yeah, and you see um, Coach Gardner calling a timeout after that bucket right there. Probably going to pick up the tempo, some kind of defense. They'll probably come out in a more of a full court pressure or the gambling defense that they ran in the first half, just trying to change the momentum of the game and, and try to um, get Western off balance a little bit. You see why Arkansas is in a little bit of foul trouble. 26 fouls called on the Lady Razorbacks, only 11 by Western. Western in the double bonus here with about 12 minutes to go. Come at you mentioned Arkansas in the first half did have a little bit of success when they pressed and picked up the half court pressure and trapped with the Western guards coming across court. So it may be time that they have to pick that back up because as you said, they've got to get some points and get them quick. Now. Right, and, and uh, again, a couple of turnovers and quick baskets. And then you have players like um, uh, players like uh, Dominique Washington who can hit a couple threes and the game's never over. And five minutes and 42 seconds is an eternity. Crystal Kelly, who's had a, a quiet night, right on the verge of another double-double. Shouse, who had a really nice first half, misses the hook, but it's uh, Kelly with the rebound. And, you know, she scores so well when she gets the ball, but sometimes you take for granted that she gets a lot of her points off those second chance points as well and does such a great job of rebounding and just not the most dominating looking player out on the court. But boy, when you add up all the numbers at the end of the night, she is a dominating player. Exactly, and it, night in and night out, she's usually very consistent. And uh, when you can count on some uh, a Crystal Kelly having a double-double, then you can work a lot of offensive systems around that as we see Arkansas coming out in a full court pressure. Yep, there's the pressure and there's the foul as Butler tried to get around more. And the Moore foul. got just a little bit too close. So Moore picks up her fifth foul, and we said that uh, just kind of a matter of time where Arkansas starts losing a few players. So at 540, Moore will be the first Arkansas player to get a permanent seat on the bench, and Coach Gardner doing a little coaching off the court right now. And sometimes you are coaching for maybe not this game, but it's early in the season, and uh, those coaching points at the side of the bench can help them later on in their season. So Butler will go to the line, and all of her points so far tonight coming from the free throw line. She has five, and she's got two free throws coming her way. Butler helping her free throw percentages tonight, 74% coming into the game. She's now six out of seven. Ashley Butler with 5.40 to go. Second free throw, not there. Kelly with a rebound for the Lady Toppers, puts it in. Crystal Always Kelly. around the basket, Crystal Kelly. 74-58, Western by 16 now as they have edged that lead continuously up in the last few minutes. Arkansas mm. almost throws the ball away. Marshall going for it, will pick up the foul. Third foul 
by Charlotte Marshall, and that will send Whitney Jones to the free throw line. Back into the lineup for the Lady Razorbacks, Christina and Delkovich, as Hobbs will go to the free, uh, Arkansas bench. Western, only their fifth team foul, so Arkansas not in, not shooting any free throws yet. 74, 58, 5, 23 to go, and it comes to Peoples. Peoples working against Porter Talbert. Peoples very quick, drives baseline left, out of bounds, still belongs to Arkansas, but boy, Porter Talbert working just as hard defensively as she does offensively. I was just gonna say that, Jeff, is that she's a great offensive player, but many times people over overlook how good a defensive player she is. Excellent footwork, she has great defensive concepts and skills and, and equally as impressive on this end of the floor. And guarding the leading scorer for Arkansas. So she usually draws that uh, top offensive threat uh, by the other team. And up over the back, that'll be Washington, and Washington won't have any more opportunity to put up any threes as she picks up her fifth foul with 5.07 to go. And that'll send Western to the free throw line and Susie Gardner trying to get an explanation, but uh, that one was was pretty obvious as Washington came up over Ashley Butler to pick up that fifth foul. And back into the game will be Adrian Bush, who comes into the game with four fouls on her own. So two Arkansas players on the bench with five fouls, a couple in the game with four, and Ashley Butler at the free throw line for Western. So Butler after Hitting six straight and then missing one will start her streak back up again. 75-58. Lady Toppers have led most of this game. As we said, Arkansas with a brief two-point advantage in the first half, but it's been all Western since then. Oh, Arkansas has hung around. 76-58. Western by 18. People from three. Not there. Rebound away to Western Schaus. Ashley Butler running the show right now for the Lady Toppers, working against Peoples. There's the trap that comes up. Butler dribbles around it, gets it over to Porter Talbert. Not there. Ball loose on the court. Butler, one of the few times Crystal Kelly doesn't come up with it. Uh, Ashley Butler almost a little bit too quick for it. Came up with a with a uh, loose ball and quickly trying to get it to Crystal Kelly, but it was by her before she knew it. Talking to uh, assistant coach David Graves earlier, he was saying that the guards sometimes get terribly spoiled with Crystal Kelly because they just sometimes just throw it anywhere and expect her to get it. But. I expect if, uh, if I throw it towards the basket, then Crystal's going to come up with it. We've seen her do it so many times, I can understand why they can get spoiled. 76-58, Western with an 18-point advantage. Butler this time trying to come up with a block. Instead, Bush will go to the free throw line, and Butler will pick up her first foul. Bush, four points so far on the night, averaging four a game, a 63% free throw shooter. 4.29 to go here from Diddle Arena. Bush will have another one coming her way. Dominique Duck checks back into the Lady Topper lineup. She'll replace Charlotte Marshall. Duck, who had a nice first half with seven points. Charlotte Marshall leaves the game with seven points as well. All coming here in the second half. Second free throw is good by Bush. Western again facing a little bit of full court pressure. Butler, there's the trap. Butler just kind of dribbles right through it. And the carry will be called, so the turnover will give the ball back over to Arkansas. 76-59. 4.20 to go in the basketball game. Western trying to improve to 4-0 at home, 6-1 overall. Their only loss coming to Arizona State. He said Western getting some votes for top 25 recognition. Moved up a few points this week. Rebounds. Again, Western dominating that category as well. 43 rebounds right now for the Lady Toppers, 23 for Arkansas. Peoples at the line to shoot a couple of free throws after the foul by Western. Porter Talbert picked up her third foul. P 
Peoples. Second free throw coming her way. Now with 12 points. Again, she only had two in the first half, so she's picked it up here a little bit in the second half. But it hasn't been quite enough as Western maintaining that 15-point advantage at 76-61. Porter Talbot will just dribble through and around everybody. And now we'll pull it back. Drives against people over to Ashley Butler. Butler from three-point range. She gets it. Ashley, Ashley Butler with the second three-pointer of the night for Western. Gives the Lady Toppers a 79-61 advantage. Arkansas answers with two from Jones. Three and a half minutes to go. Still the full court pressure by Arkansas. Western breaks it. Ashley Butler drives down. She'll pull it back out. Good decision by the point guard there. Just didn't have any, didn't have numbers, so just pulled it out to run the offense. Keep the clock running as well. Crystal Kelly, nice pass into Schaus. Schaus gets the two on the assist by Kelly. Again, Crystal Kelly reading the defense, knowing where the help was coming from, was able to find her, her partner down low, Schaus. First points here are the second half by Schaus. She got 12 on the night, had 10 in the first half. There's the kick, they'll reset. Clock a little bit. And with 3.01 to go in the basketball game, we're gonna take a break. 81-63 in favor of the Lady Toppers. This is the Hilltopper Sports Satellite Network on Fox College Sports. Red towel territory, or what they're known for waving here. Tradition started by uh, the namesake of this arena, EA Diddle. And the uh, Copper fans have been able to wave their red towels a lot tonight because they're leading 81-63 in Sarah Schaus, who had a very good first half, 10 first half points. That was her first two of the second half. But again, you can't concentrate too much, at least this game, on Crystal Kelly because uh, Sarah Schaus has been able to pick it up. And that uh, has to be pleasing to the Western Kentucky coaching staff because it just shows development and growth and maturity in a team when, uh, you know, most teams are have you scouted now and, and you're able to come with a different, different weapon. Underneath, Arkansas can't quite get the bucket to drop. They still remain with the ball. The three-point shot taken. And, well, they have been hot from three-point range at times tonight. That's Rochelle Vaughn's third three-pointer of the night. 81-66 in favor of the Lady Toppers. Down court with it. Duck, dish off, goes to Porter Talbert. Not there. Duck with a rebound, gets it out to Kelly. Western. Still with the basketball. Shot clock now down to 10. They didn't hit the rim with that last shot, so the shot clock kept running. And Butler, Ashley Butler. takes the bank shot from in front. Butler has uh, 13 points tonight. Really has done a fine job coming off the bench, getting to the free throw line, running the basketball team. 83-66 Western as the whistle blows, and Peoples will go to the free throw line after the foul called against Crystal Kelly. Only her second team, or second foul of the night. Eighth team foul on Western. So Peoples will go to the free throw line. She's picked it up a little bit here in the second half as she has 13 points, 14 make it now. She only had two in the first half. Leading score for Arkansas coming into the game. Averaging about 15.3. And a free throw here puts her right on her average and she gets it. 15 now for Peoples. 2.08 to go. Porter Talbert will bring the ball up. Working against Rochelle Vaughn. Now the double team. Porter Talbert gets it across, but the reach from behind will send Porter Talbert to the free throw line. Arkansas in a half court run and jump, just trying to get the ball out of the hands of the, of the dribbler. And so. Fourth foul of the night on Rochelle Vaughn. And Tiffany Porter Talbert at the free throw line for the Lady Toppers to shoot a pair. Porter Talbert, five out of six on the night, make it six out of seven. So Porter Talbert leading all scores with 22 points right now. Throw in uh, 11 rebounds, and uh, you've got two players for Western with double doubles Porter Talbert and Kelly. And you have two players off the bench as well, Jeff, with double figures. And it's a good outing for the West Kentucky Ball Club. 85-68. Under two minutes to go now in the basketball game. The three-pointer will come up way short. I think Duck probably got a piece of that, or at least intimidated. 
Vaughn. Butler from three-point range, left side, not there. And Duck with the rebound for the Lady Toppers. Lady Toppers owning the boards tonight as well, out-rebounding Arkansas by more than 20. Schaus, baseline left. Pass off to Porter Talbert, couldn't quite hang on to it. Peoples comes up with it for Arkansas, still dribbling it down court. 1.14 to go, 85-68. Kicked ball. It'll remain Arkansas as Porter Talbert comes up with a kick. And that is one of the new rules we talked about a little bit, but even the kick, uh, unless it's under 15 seconds, as right at you, Clement, mm -hmm. that the reset does not automatically go to 30. So it does reward the defense a little bit for, for some aggressive play. And that's a good, I believe that's a good rule because you, you work hard and, and uh, trying to get a deflection and all for naught, but that's a good rule, I think. Peoples from three-point range. It's her second three of the night. 85-71. Just a too little, too late. First possession will go to Arkansas on the held ball. Uh, not in agreement by everyone, but 85-71, Western. 55 seconds to go. The Lady Toppers' next action will be at home on the 11th as they take on East Tennessee State in an afternoon game. Arkansas's next action will be home on December 15th as they take on Nichols State. A lot of schools getting that week off or so coming up with finals here. And, well, you certainly like to head into the break, which Western will be heading into the break after Sunday's game. And you, and you like to head in on a high note, I'm sure. Absolutely. And, and players, you know, keep in mind that they are student athletes. And during finals week, it's a, it's a tough week uh, academically and and it's good to go in there with, in a positive frame of mind. Peoples, one more free throw coming your way. 16 points now. Peoples make it 17. Point range, she gets it. Ashley Butler with the second three-pointer of the night for Western gives the Lady Toppers a 79-61 advantage. Arkansas answers with two from Jones. Three and a half minutes to go. Still the full court pressure by Arkansas. Western breaks it. Ashley Butler drives down. She'll pull it back out. It's a good decision by the point guard there. Just didn't have any, didn't have numbers, so just pulled it out to run the offense. Keep the clock running as well. Crystal Kelly, nice pass into Schaus. Schaus gets the two on the assist by Kelly. Again, Crystal Kelly reading the defense, knowing where the help was coming from, was able to find her, her partner down low, Schaus. First points here are the second half by Schaus. She got 12 on the night, had 10 in the first half. There's the kick, they'll reset. Clock a little bit. And with 3.01 to go in the basketball game, we're going to take a break. 81-63 in favor of the Lady Toppers. This is the Hilltopper Sports Satellite Network on Fox College Sports. Red Towel Territory, what they're known for waving here. Tradition started by uh, the namesake of this arena, EA Diddle. And uh, Topper fans have been able to wave their red towels a lot tonight because they're leading 81-63. And Sarah Schaus, who had a very good first half, 10 first half points. That was her first two of the second half. But again, you can't concentrate too much, at least this game, on Crystal Kelly because uh, Sarah Schaus has been able to pick it up. And that uh, has to be pleasing to the Western Kentucky coaching staff because it just shows development and growth and maturity in a team when, uh, you know, most teams are have you scouted now and, and you're able to come with a different, different weapon. Underneath, Arkansas can't quite get the bucket to drop. They still remain with the ball, the three-point shot taken. And, well, they have been hot in three-point range at times tonight. That's Rochelle Vaughn's third three-pointer of the night. 81-66 in favor of the Lady Toppers. Down court with it. Duck, dish off, goes to Porter Talbert, not there. Duck with a rebound, gets it out to Kelly. Western still with the basketball. Shot clock now down to 10. They didn't hit the rim with that last shot, so the shot clock kept running. And Butler. Ashley. Takes the bank shot from in front. Butler has uh, 13 points tonight. Really has done a fine job coming off the bench, getting to the free throw line, running the basketball team. 
83-66 Western as the whistle blows and Peoples will go to the free throw line after the foul called against Crystal Kelly. Only her second team or second foul of the night. Eighth team foul on Western. So Peoples will go to the free throw line. She's picked it up a little bit here in the second half as she has 13 points, 14 make it now. She only had two in the first half. Leading score for Arkansas coming into the game. Averaging about 15.3. And a free throw here and puts her right on her average and she gets it. 15 now for Peoples. 2.08 to go. Porter Talbert will bring the ball up. Working against Rochelle Vaughn. Now the double team. Porter Talbert gets it across, but the reach from behind will send Porter Talbert to the free throw line. Arkansas in a half court run and jump, just trying to get the ball out of the hands of the of the dribbler. And so fourth foul of the night on Rochelle Vaughn. And Tiffany Porter Talbert at the free throw line for the Lady Toppers to shoot a pair. Porter Talbert, five out of six on the night, make it six out of seven. So Porter Talbert leading all scores with 22 points right now. Throw in uh, 11 rebounds, and uh, you've got two players for Western with double doubles, Porter Talbert and Kelly. And you have two players off the bench as well, Jeff, with double figures, and it's a good outing for the Western Kentucky Ball Club. 85-68. Under two minutes to go now in the basketball game. The three-pointer will come up way short. I think Duck probably got a piece of that, or at least intimidated Vaughn. Butler from three-point range, left side, not there. And Duck with the rebound for the Lady Toppers. Lady Toppers owning the boards tonight as well, out-rebounding Arkansas by more than 20. Schaus, baseline left. Pass off to Porter Talbert, couldn't quite hang on to it. Peoples comes up with it for Arkansas, still dribbling it down court. 1.14 to go, 85-68. Kicked ball. It'll remain Arkansas as Porter Talbert comes up with a kick. And that is one of the new rules we talked about a little bit, but even the kick, uh, unless it's under 15 seconds, as right at you, Clement. Mm -hmm that the reset does not automatically go to 30. So it does reward the defense a little bit for, for some aggressive play. And that's a good, I believe that's a good rule because you, you worked hard and, and uh, trying to get a deflection and all for naught. But that's a good rule, I think. Peoples from three-point range. It's her second three of the night. 85-71. Too little, too late. Possession will go to Arkansas on the held ball. Uh, not in agreement by everyone, but 85-71 Western. 55 seconds to go. The Lady Toppers' next action will be at home on the 11th as they take on East Tennessee State in an afternoon game. Arkansas's next action will be home on December 15th as they take on Nickel State. A lot of schools getting that week off or so coming up with finals here. And, well, you certainly like to head into the break, which Western will be heading into the break after Sunday's game. And you and you like to head in on a high note, I'm sure. Absolutely. And, and players, you know, keep in mind that they are student athletes. And during finals week, it's a, it's a tough week uh, academically. And, and it's good to go in there with, in a positive frame of mind. Peoples, one more free throw coming your way. 16 points now. Peoples make it 17. And Western still facing some full court pressure by Arkansas. Kelly quickly gets it over to Porter. Porter now knifes through the Arkansas defense. Lead pass to Schaus from the baseline left. Overshoots it. Duck had her hand on the rebound. And then the foul will go against Arkansas. And this will be against Peoples. 38 and a half seconds to go. Western 85-73, a 12-point advantage as Dominique Duck goes to the free throw line. Dominique Duck at the line, shooting two. Arkansas has been in foul trouble much of this second half. Two players already on the bench with five fouls. Three players in the game right now have four fouls. 
Duck with a little bit of touch gets the free throw. And Duck may be near a uh, double double herself tonight. I know she earlier had seven rebounds and maybe close to uh, a double double herself. Nonetheless, just a great job off the bench by the freshman. Yeah, she, she continues to improve each time out that we see her. 87-73, 14-point advantage for Western. And the offensive foul is Porter Talbert. She's probably as proud of that as she is uh, of those 23 points up on the board because I know Western coaches practice that a lot, and they're very proud when those uh, players take a charge, and that just tells you, again, the, the complete kind of player that Tiffany Porter Talbert is. You said it, Jeff, just willing to sacrifice her body and always guarding the, the toughest perimeter player and takes a lot of energy. I, she's averaging 35 plus minutes and just takes it. You have to be in great shape to be able to do that. Porter Tauber brings it up across the half court. Three players have now fouled out for Arkansas. The last one on Bush after Porter Tauber drew the charge off of her. 13 seconds to go. Western will improve its record to six and one. On the year, Arkansas State will drop to four and four. And the Lady Toppers right back on the winning track as they pick up the win here against SEC opponent Arkansas, 87 to 73. Western with a 14 point advantage. The Lady Toppers picking up the win. Clement, a good win for Western coming off that loss. Well, anytime you can get a win against an SEC opponent, you gotta feel pleased about it. And a good overall team effort. Leading scorer for Western tonight, Tiffany Porter Talbert with 23 leads all scores. Western again with a win, 87 to 73 for Clement Haskins. I'm Jeff Younglove. Good evening, everyone. Fox.